the Lord be with you. Here reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to the disciples, As it was in the days of Noah, so it will be at the coming of the Son of Man. In those days before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage. Up to the day that Noah entered the ark, they did not know until the flood came and carried them all away. So will it be also at the coming of the Son of Man. Two men will be out in the field, one will be taken and one will be left. Two women will be grinding at the mill, the one will be taken and one will be left. Therefore, stay awake, for you do not know on which day the Lord, your Lord will come. Be sure of this. If the master of the house had known the hour of night when the thief was coming, he would have stayed awake and not let his house be broken into. So too, you also must be prepared. For, at not, for an hour... You do not expect the Son of Man will come. The Gospel of the Lord. Dear brothers and sisters, I remember very keenly when I was in the seminary, one of our professors admonished, advised, and encouraged by saying, there is no human activity in the world that can be successful without preparation. He said, Whatever you want to be, you can begin to be that thing from today. Indeed, in the wisdom of the church, in order that the Christmas that we long for be a successful one, she has given us a period of time to put things together. If you look at nature, you will see that it even prepares. Look around, you will see the trees. There was a time that everywhere was green, and now it is a time that the trees themselves have shed, you know, the leaves, preparing for the winter. It is true with us. But the readings of today cautions us. They caution us because we live in a time where we are captured or overtaken by many things. And we are busy. And busy and busy to the extent that sometimes we forget that we are going somewhere. At the introductory part of this Mass, Father talked about how we are on a pilgrimage, but because of the activities of the world, sometimes we forget that. But this is a time to caution us that we have a focus, we have a goal, so we must strive towards it. Coming to the readings in the Gospel, it's, it, it speaks about the need to be vigilant, the need to be watchful. And St. Paul gives the condition that will help us to achieve this. The time is now. And how can we do that? In the first reading, 
the prophet Isaiah talked about how the mountain of the Lord will be elevated where everyone will see. And how can we see clearly unless we level certain things? Springing from our behavior, from our disposition in our relationship with one another, and of course, our relationship with God. St. Paul puts it very clearly. The desires of the flesh, we should put it aside. And where is the leverage area of the devil? It is the flesh. It is the flesh that he uses to keep us down. But as we prepare, the readings are calling us to be mindful of that. Luke, Matthew talked about how we should not be repeating you know, what happened in the time of Noah when they were caught up with a lot of things, so much so that when people were to prepare to enter the ark of Noah, many of them were overtaken by marine and remarine and you know, a lot of leisure. You know, they forgot about that and they were overtaken by that. But the readings of today are cautioning us that we should not allow the cares, the troubles of this world to overtake us. But we should be mindful of what we are doing. Is it impatience that I have? Like the leaves that are shedding from the tree? I can shake it off. I can do it. With the help of God, I can do it. Is it anger that keeps you far away? That makes the flesh to, you know, control you? With the help of God, that is a way of preparing that God will come into your heart and dwell. With the help of God, you can disassociate from it. Is it a relationship problem? Lack of trust, faith, and belief in the relationship that you have with the help of God, you can overcome it. Is it children that you have that have one problem or the other? With the help of God, you can bring them to the mountain of the Lord to walk in the light of the Lord. Saint Monica did it through her prayers and tears. She took her husband, Patricius, and her son, Augustine, to God. We have many things to talk about. Lack of satisfaction with what is happening in the world, wars, even division in the church, in the family, all of this, we can, they can become things of the past with the help of God. That is what this preparation is all about. It is not something far away from us. So as we work hard to see that we prepare our minds, prepare our hearts, prepare in a manner that will be pleasing to God. Because our hearts are the fertile soil that the word of God is dwelling, that is supposed to produce a good number of, you know, harvests. Some 30, 40, and even 100. But we cannot do it alone. It is only with the help of God. That is why we are here today. The same Holy Spirit that inspired us to come here today. We are asking him that as many things are happening around the world, that it will still make us to be conscious of who we are, where we are coming from, and where we are going to. And our challenges 
and the troubles and the thorns along the, wall, uh, along the way that they may not overtake us, but that we will be conscious of what we are doing at the end of the day, that as Christ comes at Christmas, our joy will be complete in the celebration that is ahead. Amen. Let us stand and pray. I believe in one God. Let us pray for the church, called always to reflect the light of Christ to others. May the Holy Spirit help us make a joyful and fruitful witness to the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For leaders in government, community, and service organizations, may God grant them the gift of fortitude. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those struggling with darkness of the mind, heart, or soul, may Christ's light bring them comfort and hope. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our For members of our community of faith, may the Holy Spirit enkindle in us a more pure love for our neighbor. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our For all who have died, may they soon be reunited with glory with Christ, our Savior and brother. Let us pray to the Lord. for the intentions we hold in the silence of our heart. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear Do you have the intention for this Mass? I don't know where it's at. For Irene and John Kolowski, the special intention for this Mass. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear the prayers of your people, those spoken and those kept in the silence of our hearts. And certainly, so far as we conform to your holy will, for you are the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen.